hundreds of millions will starve, and the prices of raw materials will continue to skyrocket over the next decade. He predicts oil reserves will be depleted in 20 to 30 years. Oil prices have more than tripled, leading Prime Minister Fraser to announce this morning that Australia's oil resources have been nationalised and will now be managed exclusively by the government. American economist Diana Bin has been invited to address the Australian... Time to get up, Brucey. Uh, no fuel in the world. I made you uh, recce. Uh, oh. Can you wrap it up for me? Uh, Zed's going to be here any minute. Ugh. I'll wrap a couple up for the next Put on some pants. Alright. Did you work late again? Oh, the CEO is coming in. He wants every truck, every bike, every car filled up, ready to go. Couple guys coming all the way out here. Yeah, some big secret project. He won't tell us what's about yet, though. Oh, I just heard on the radio they nationalised the oil companies this morning. About bloody time. I guess I'm working for the government now. Is that good news or bad news? It worked for Chell, eh? I mean, is that good news or bad news for us? Wake up, slacker! Seven Sisters Petroleum! Fuel in the world! There'll be three of us soon. <laughs> it's three of us now! <laughs> I'm out of here. Come on, mate. Hi, Debbie! Come on, mate. Let's get going. If it wasn't for you, I'd burn this whole bloody world to the ground. The killer steals a trinket from each of his victims to keep as a souvenir. And speaking of serial killers, now back to the music. This song is about Brenda Spencer, a 16 year old girl who shot up a school. Morning guys. Morning. G'day. G'day. You got it running yet? Nah, uh, not yet mate. Yeah, we'll uh, get in there. Okay. Eel. Jeez, don't you ever sleep? No, but I do eat. Yeah, get that in here. Uh, you heard the rumour? What? We've been nationalised? No, the other rumour. Papagallo's calling us all in for a one-on-one -on -one meeting. What? We're getting fired? No, it's not what I heard. I heard he's picking the best of us for a special project. I hope he picks me. Why would he pick you? You said he's picking the best of us. I love Debbie's cooking. She used to cook for me all the time. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Used to be my girlfriend. You went on one date. One date she'll never forget. One date you'll never forget. Oh, shut up about. Brucey's got her up the duff, you know. You reckon the baby feels it when he's rooting her? You reckon you could say something smart for once in your life? Do you ever choke her? She likes it when you choke her. No, she doesn't. And that's the reason you only have got one date. One date so far. Yeah, right, mate. Oh. Pay no mind. The last woman he was in was his mother. He's not going to try anything with Debbie. Not with you around. Bruce, can I see you for a moment? Oh. Ooh, Ooh. Someone did trouble. I've had lots of girlfriends, you know. Look. I have all the presents they gave me. As you've probably heard, we're being nationalized. So I've taken steps to ensure that when they come to take my company from me, there won't be anything left to take. I've destroyed all the employee records, all the survey data, all the maps. Seven Sisters Petroleum is no more. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's been a pleasure working for you. Well, this doesn't have to be the end. A few of us are going out to one of the oil donkeys. We're going to build a little refinery around it, put up a wall to keep out the riffraff, start a new life while the rest of the world goes to the dogs. 
That oil doesn't belong to you. It belongs to everybody. Well, that may be true, but it takes a guy like me to figure out how to get it out of the ground. It takes our engineers to figure out how to turn it into something you can put into a motor, and it takes guys like you to keep those motors running, which is why I want you out there with us. You're the best mechanic we've got. If you want the best, take Neil. We need someone with more mobility. Uh, can I bring Debbie? Uh, once the compound's built, you can send for her. Four weeks, six weeks tops? Yeah, no way, man. Oi, what's the special program? Papagallo was uh, pissing off to the desert to build a compound and uh, taking a few of us with him. Everyone else is getting a sack. Can I go? Are you going? I've got everything I need right here. Well, you don't have a future. I can offer you that. You want another job out here? You're going to be fighting over scraps. I can triple your pay. Uh, cash is worthless. I could pay in fuel. What about Debbie? What makes Debbie so special? What about, don't you have anyone else in your life? What about your friends, your family, your parents? Is that it? You lost your parents? Well, you know what? Every one of us loses our parents, if we're lucky enough mm -hmm. to live that long. Bruce! Yeah. Boss! Yeah. You got the job, Zed. Yeah. Did you lose your job? No. I punched my job in the face. What do you mean? Did Papa Guy fire you? Not exactly. He offered to triple my wage. What would you have to do? He's got a crazy idea about going out in the desert and building some sort of compound. He thinks he can just grab a chunk of civilization and uh, transplant it out into the desert. That doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, but uh, there's, there's no place for you. Uh, not at first. Well, how long till I could go? Six weeks. I'm not due for another eight weeks. Do you think I should take it? Haven't you been listening to the radio? The world is falling apart. But I'm, I'm happy here with you. And I'm happy with you. But I'm not happy here. But you'll be alone. I won't be alone. Mr. Papagallo, I'll take the job. I've already given the job to Zed. <laughs> do you want the best or do you want Zed? All right, well, how about you read this and uh, next time let your mouth do the talking. You read this and we've got a deal. There's a bus out front. Get on it and tell Zed to get off. Papagallo, give us and Papagallo! Take it away! There's a chain of the cooler ballad 
tree. As soon as he marched and waited to his billy boil, you'll come a waltzing the children with me. Waltzing the children, waltzing the children, you'll come a waltzing the children with me. As he sang, as he marched and waited to his billy boil, Unidentified virus. You made dinner. In the US territory of Puerto Rico, explosions destroyed several Air National Guard aircraft. Police suspect it was yet another act of terrorism in a wave of violent rebellion sweeping the US. A $250,000 reward has been offered for information related to the recent bombings of several Woolworth stores. The reward is the largest ever offered in Australian history. The Tainong North and Frankston murders remain unsolved after three more women's bodies were found last month. Police suspect the killer strangles his victims, as no murder weapon has ever been found. The killer steals a trinket from each of his victims to keep as a souvenir. Always did love your cooking. Prime Minister Fraser has declared that stage three of the national emergency is effective immediately. Citizens are warned to stay...